We're about to do an unboxing video on um, the Lime Fuel Nexus 5 case, which has a model number of the L28N5 that you can see just here. Lime Fuel is a fairly new company. Um, they do a bunch of external batteries um, for mobile devices. We tested the 2400 mAh model um, a couple of weeks ago, the L240X, and I loved it. It was a really good battery. Um, I took that to the US with me and I used it purely as an exclusive battery just for the trip, um, along with the L156X, which is the 15,600 uh, milliamp hour battery. But today we have the Nexus 5 case. So it's a power case, as you can see here. I'm gonna quick, take a quick look at around the box and then we're gonna open it up. So there's not much going on on the side of the box. On the back, they've got some, some nice little um, bits here you can see um, that you've got obviously two times the battery life of the Nexus 5, um, a slim, uh, a slim um, uh, actual design. Um, it's a two-piece um, snap-on design, which is which is actually pretty unique. Instead of something that just slots onto the device, it actually clips onto the device. Um, and we've got a smudge-resistant rubber finish, which I'm actually very interested to see um, if that is actually true. Whether I'm going to get smudges on it with um, you know, the, the grease and oil from your hands. So let's open it up. So the box itself again isn't that flash, but it is it is good quality. Um, the actual um, inside box is actually of good quality as well. It's definitely not a um, not a cheap box. It opens up like that. Let's take it out. Put that off to the side, put that off to the side as well. So that's the case itself. So we've got the Nexus 5 battery case. It's it's actually quite thick, um, not as thin as what I what I thought it would be, but it's not it's not super thick. Um, we'll do another video below this in the review um, of the Nexus 5 sitting in here, and we'll have a couple of pictures side by side so you can see um, the difference between um, the Nexus 5 with the case on and without the case. We'll take a look at this in a minute. We'll just put it down to, for a minute, and we'll take a look at what came in the box. So I've obviously got a Nexus 5 um, battery case little booklet, which just explains um, how to do it in case you had no idea. And we've got um, a little bit of an explanation here um, of the input, which is five volts, one amp max. Um, it takes three hours to charge the, ba charge the battery and the output from it um, is two volts, two amp max. Um, it's good for 500 uses. So about one charge every day for about 18 months or so. Um, but you can see here, just a bit of an instruction and security um, and that appears to be it I think I think there might be a cable in here yes there is so lime fuel actually use really nice cables it's one thing I was actually surprised at from an from a new company um, put that aside um, so the cable that you see here, um, it might not look like much. We've actually got the Apple Lightning connector, as you can see here. So that's used for the iPhone 5 and 5S. But you can actually pull this, pull this up. If I can get to it. And you can actually see that there's a micro USB cable underneath. That wasn't actually meant to pull off like that. It's meant to just pull it and disconnect. So you can just pull it just slightly out course when I'm doing a video it doesn't want to do that so we're going to try once more and then we'll finish up so obviously it pulls out like that normally um, we'll do another video of this separately and then you can actually slide it along like this so you've got so it slides in like that slides up into the, the crevice of the iPhone 5s connector as you can see there and then you can actually slide it have micro USB to charge the phone. So depending on what device you've got, you can actually charge, uh, use this cable to charge an iPhone, um, which is not needed because this is a specific battery for the Nexus 5, but you can't complain. And the USB cable that Lionfield have gone for is a very thin cable, as you can see here, it's very, very thin. It's not a big clunky cable, so you're actually gonna know which side the USB port goes into, because obviously it's gonna be gold to gold. It's actually a nice little touch. The cable itself, we'll just take a quick look out, see how big it is here. It's actually quite long, as you can see here. You can't really see on the camera, but it's it's long, it's good. Um, I would say it's probably about 50 centimeters maybe. Um, not too bad. Um, and it comes with a little um, clip so you can have it nice and neat in your bag. So the full arm fuel um, battery review is gonna be below. But before we do that, we're just gonna have a, just a very quick look at this. Um, so here's the Lime Fuel um, Nexus 5 case. So you can see that there's a two, we're gonna do this in separate videos, just quickly show you now. So this is a, a snap-on or snap-off device, I should say, and snaps onto the Nexus 5. If I can find a bit to do it without breaking it off. 
So there we go, two bits, the front and the back. So the Nexus 5 will obviously slot onto this like so, and then you'll slot the case on top. So we've got the charger port for the Nexus 5 that you can see here, and we've got the input port. We've got the two spots for the speakers on the Nexus 5. The volume buttons will be here. They'll be obviously on the outside of the Nexus 5. Headphone port when the Nexus 5 is in, the power port or the power button, I should say, and some line fuel branding. Um, on the back here, we've got a, um, a nice hole for the, the camera and the flash. And then we've got a power button that turns the case on and some LED um, lights that will light up uh, green, I think, uh, for the charge of the actual device itself. We're gonna have more of a look at this very soon. Um, keep reading the review below. Thank you.